Okay, everybody, I hope y'all had a good week. Mm. We did the outfeed table. I haven't finished yet. Probably going to spray it today. But I need to make some jigs for my table saw. And I've seen several of them on YouTube that I like. But I'm just going to go out there and try to make a quick jig because i got some other projects. Maybe y'all want to see me just making a quick jig, just real quick. I need to make a cross-cut table saw slip but there is one on YouTube if I can ever get the time I will order them plans because that is the best looking sled I've ever seen but right now I just need to make something I can use it's practical I figured y'all might do that well like I said I hope y'all subscribe to my channel and I hope y'all had a blessed week and let's get busy I started off by taking the hardwood cherry to make the slides underneath it Put it on a joiner to make sure it's completely flat. I took it to the table saw, measured it, sliced it. measured the distance for the slot to make sure it was perfect. Plane it down. And I sliced it to make sure the depth was right. My bandsaw. And we gotta cut the birch plywood. Made it 48 inches wide. Cut it to exact width. I believe it's 24. Place some dimes in the slots when I put the things that stick up a little bit. Make sure we got good contact. Put the hardwood slide on there. Put some glue down. Why do you need a brush when you got a finger? the birch plywood on top, squared it up, and just put something on top to let it dry overnight. Once it dried I used a forester bit so I could pre-depth so I wouldn't have screws sticking out. Once we had that, I took an inch and quarter screws and I cut them down so they wouldn't protrude through the birch plywood. Screwed it down. I took some old paste wax and I smeared it on the bottom and on the rails to make everything slide really smooth. Now I went on to make the front and the back rails. I put them on a joint to make sure everything was perfectly flat and even. Screwed on the front, it doesn't have to be perfectly square. Went ahead and drilled it to the birch plywood. Now on the front, I screwed on one side and I put a temporary screw on the other side. That way, when we're trying to measure it, 
Here we go. We're trying to measure it to make sure it's perfectly square. So when you get your cuts, it'll be exactly nine degrees. I backed it up. I put two squares down to adjust the back rail up and back and see how close I can get it to square doing that. I had a temporary screw on one side and then I did the five cup method. If you're not sure what the five cup method is, you can look that up on Google or YouTube for any explanation. But basically, you're cutting the board five times and when you get back to the original side, you take a caliper and you want your top measurement to match your bottom measurement and you try to get as close as possible. If it's a little bit off, that's where I have the adjustment screw. You can back it up. And there's the table when it's all completed. Turned out real quick, real easy, and very accurate. Thank y'all for listening.